everyone, assalamu alaikum. I hope you're doing well. Uh, welcome back to the channel. It's been a long, long time, but quick update. So most of you have, would have done your MD and would have passed and got, would have gotten your admissions done. And uh, congratulations to all of you. Congratulations, congratulations. Who got into the universities. And of course, with, you, with universities comes new responsibility, new academics, but high budget hai, kitabi chayoti hai, and of course, uh, in this video, I'll be sharing all the books that are usually required in the first year of MBBS specifically. And inshallah, in the next videos, hopefully, there'll be a video on uh, my personal experience of first year MBBS and S1 in Dow Medical College. And uh, without any further ado, let's get to it. All right, so uh, when you come into first year of medical school, specifically if I speak about Dow Medical College and of course as usually the subjects are common throughout medical colleges in Pakistan but they vary here and there amongst some of the colleges or universities depending on of course of uh, depending on their curriculum and their system so uh, if I just go over everything I've noted everything down uh, so number one you have gross anatomy you have embryology you have histology these are the these are all of these three uh, parts are com a component of his anatomy itself, but of course, on a good theme in the vitamin. Then you have physiology, uh, you have pathology, which is biochemistry, the one that I hate, but well, but not for that. And after biochemistry, we have our minor subjects, usually in the first and first two years in Dow Medical College, but still they're important. These include uh, pharmacology, microbiology, and some other subjects such as community medicine, ethics, general education, radiology, medicine, orthopedics, behavioral sciences, etc. etc. So um, these are the main subjects that you'll be studying in medical school in first year and BBS. Uh, I'm going to give you a kitab So I'm going to highlight the resources as well as some of the books that I personally use and of course which are generally used by MS1 students. So firstly going to gross anatomy. Uh, primarily, however, we have long books and short books. First, let's divide this into long books and short books. Long books are the ones that you primarily use. These are more thick books and have more detail. Uh, so again, you can use these books if you want. And then there are short books which people usually use for reviews. And it just helps them, you know, catch up and everything. So there are two books uh, for gross anatomy. Mainly them being Grey's Anatomy, the student's version, of course and uh, the KLM uh, clinically oriented anatomy now these two books are present um, KLM if I give you a bit of the details of these the two books KLM is far more detailed and comprehensive uh, and it has a lot of extra minute details that not are not usually tested in exams examination conditions but if you are a person who likes to go deep into the topics sure go ahead Iskalawa, you have uh, Gray's Anatomy, which is Ye show ki baat karna. Ye show ki baat karna. Ye kitab hai. I'm going to show you all the pictures as well. Uh, and this is a pretty simple, uh, da simple, uh, concise, cons consistent uh, book. And it's easy to understand and it's honestly pretty good. I prefer Gray's over KLM, personally speaking. Uh, but khair, uh, these are primarily the long books for gross anatomy. The short books include BRS Anatomy and BD Charasia. Uh, the, the handbook more specifically speaking. Uskelawa of course you have the long book as well but I usually prefer the handbook and this is what is commonly used by medical students in Pakistan in, as, a, in, as an MPP student. And um, then we move on to embryology. And so uh, Hamari have two main books. Hai. There are two primarily and these include Langman's Medical Embryology. Uh, you'll see a picture over here and it's pretty concise. It has a lot of diagrams which is good because honestly speaking when you're studying embryology you need diagrams. Without it you cannot work. Iskilami, you have just like how we had the gross anatomy KLM, we have embryology, uh, clinical oriented embryology by KLM, and it's pretty detailed. It has amazing pictures again, but then again, it is very detailed. I personally use KLM uh, embryology, and it was pretty good. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. If you want to use these one of these two books, then you have histology. Histology ke primary do kitab hoti hai. Uh, one of them is Jankhera. Uh, it is far more recommended, especially if you are student of Dow Medical College or any other university. It has a lot of detail, so if you have the time, go ahead read this book. It is genuinely very, very good. And um, it is more standard. More concepts are tested from this particular book right here. And then the second book in this particular uh, list that I have is Medical, Histo uh, Medical Histology by Laik Hussain. And uh, this is com this is pretty concise, short, to the point of a book. I personally use Laik Hussain. 
uh, and mix Junkwera into it because Junkwera has the amazing pictures and like Hussain has pretty concise explanations along with our uh, PowerPoint presentation slides. Uh, so yeah, you can also use uh, like Hussain for its simplicity and pretty much that should cover this part. Now, let's go to pathology. I love pathology because it contains, uh, there are two books primarily that you can study from. They are Robbins and Cotron uh, Pathological Basis of Disease and this is primarily used by our medical schools as well and it is it is a huge book if you look at the diagram if you go and look at any store not diagram sorry if you go to the bookstore and check it out you realize that it's a pretty huge book it has a lot of histological slides a lot of pictures it, it is a good book and of course if you're into like you know going a lot into detail go ahead you can use that as well personally i um i use dr uh, abdul sattar's pathoma pathoma is another book right here and it's internationally recognized it is, gen it is actually used for the US families, and that is pretty good. Uh, so it's, it's full name is uh, Fundamentals of Pathology, we call it Pathoma for short. And again, it's a short book, it's to the point, it's concise along with Dr. Sattar's videos on this particular book. It's gonna be the best resource that you can use. And if you want, you can complement it with a reference book such as Robbins and Cotter. All right, so the next one should be biochemistry, the one that I hate, but the one that we have to do. Yeah, so there are two books primarily uh actually yeah there are two books one is harper's biochemistry you can use that book it is a pretty huge book however it is gonna go a lot into detail and again if it's your your choice you can use these books you can again i personally use the second book over here which i'm about to state and that is lipid Cott's illustrated reviews of biochemistry an amazing book honestly it's made there are to the point diagrams uh, flow charts they have exact questions and the questions you'll think of us are end of chapter questions and they have learning objectives that you can follow along to, throughout the book. Um, and it's honestly a standard book for like just building, you know, concrete concepts. And yeah, use this with lecture slides and you're good to go. So then we have the review books and, and the ones that are more commonly used include BRS Biochemistry. It is, generally, it is a good book actually. I personally use its PDF. So you can look for that, especially before your examination. And you, then you have, if you're going towards more USMLE based uh, standardized study, then of course you can go for Kaplan USMLE Step 1 book for biochemistry and medical genetics. It's a pretty uh, good book, uh, especially if you are um, a student of Dow Medical, uh, any college, honestly, and you're going through a foundation module in which they teach you the foundation, the basics of medicine, you can use these books. It's pretty good. All right, so apart from that, we have physiology, which is a huge monstrous uh, section of medicine but i love it so there are two books primarily that are long books and these are used to get long books and that is you know primarily used so the one that majority of people use are guyton and hall's textbook of physiology it is the most standard book especially if you're again dmc this is more uh, this is a book that is going to be focused on far more compared to the rest of the books and you can use it although i do um, it is comprehensive it is detailed extremely detailed and it is the gold standard for examinations you can use that but it will have a lot of uh, the same concept will be spread out between a lot of pages again i'm just giving this from my personal experience uh, i'm not criticizing or saying that you should not use this book i'm just giving what i felt about certain books and then there's a second book known as costanza physiology i personally loved it honestly costanza physiology is genuinely a usmd based study of course you can do with that and apart from the fact that you can clear your concepts quickly from that if you think that your concepts are not clear from just Costanzo, you know, use Guyton and Hall as well simultaneously and it should help you out apart from slides as well. So these are the log books and then the review books, the short books include BRS Physiology which is amazing, amazing book and it is written by the same author who wrote Costanzo and then you have the pocket companion of Guyton. So when you buy Guyton, there's also pocket Guyton, um, the baby Guyton goes down so far. And you can use that and of course just go over the points very very quickly and i think that should cover the main um top main books apart from that you have pharmacology and microbiology if you're really interested in buying those, these books at first year if you have it as a like major core subject then again you can go uh, pharmacology can basically go to lipid core pharmacology here's the picture if you can see it right now again it's it's going to go into depth but in first year in, so if i talk about dmcs more specifically um, they just go over it very lightly so you can if you want to use it go ahead and then microbiology uh for microbiology you can have the review of medical microbiology and immunology it's a 
pretty good book and honestly it's going to give you all the information for uh, infectious organisms, viruses, parasites, fungi, what, 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 etc, etc. So you can use these books. I personally used my teacher's slides for physical pharmacology, microbiology, or which you have come from the minor subjects, which I mentioned earlier, inclusive of uh, orthopedics, community medicine, uh, general education, radiology, medicine itself, um, or uh, behavioral sciences, etc, etc. You can use these slides primarily. You don't need to necessarily buy separate books. Uh, this I think slides are copy that here, personally, from a personal point of view. Again, these are some of the books that are used in the medical colleges, first year, MS1, first year, MS1 primarily. You can, of course, look into other resources as well. Um, there are a lot of books. You have YouTube videos and stuff like that. If I were to give, name a few of the video resources that I personally highlighted and used for throughout my MS1. Uh, number one, we had Dr. Najib Lectures, amazing guy, honestly, boss man, honestly speaking. The guy gives amazing lectures. You typically lectures with the hand. Of course, you can purchase his online lectures as well. Uh, then you have Osmosis Prime. Osmosis Prime is gonna is it's, it has a lot of illustrations, a lot of animations. Or is it short to the point, concise videos with your five minutes? Again, the website is up. You can look at look at it over there. And of course, they provide some uh, preview videos on YouTube as well. Apart from that, uh, you have an engineer on YouTube, amazing guy, Doctor Zach. Salute to you. Honestly, you are you are saving my medical life. He has dedicated his YouTube channel for free, the, uh, for giving education towards medical students for free. You can look at his videos, amazing videos, honestly. And then, of course, he has his website with all the notes and whatnot. And then you have, of course, YouTube with me, Boss of Videos and Anatomy Zone, Medical uh, Medicalist for Perfectionist. I'm butchering his name, but really good guy, honestly, amazing videos. Uh, and if you're going towards biochemistry, if you want to have a quick overview of everything, we have uh, uh, Selfless Medicals. Uh, and apart from that, again, there are a lot of videos online, YouTube and stuff like that. Um, you can use BNB videos, again, amazing, amazing, amazing resource uh, and their lectures as well. Then you have, uh, apart from BNB, you have USMB RX. Again, it's going to cover every single thing that you need to know for medicine, okay, or for, or which medicine, medicine cannot change, of course. Uh, it develops, but it does not change. The foundation does not change. Uh, and yeah, these should primarily be the resources. Um, huh? So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe if you haven't already. If I missed any other books or any other resources, my apologies. You can put them down in the comments below. Of course, I'll be updating anything in the description that may be required. If there are new books, if there are new suggestions, you can go ahead and check the description down below. The next video would be about you know how to tackle MS1. And uh, yeah, good luck. See you soon. Allah